feels weird to say aloha when it's really, really cold out. Which it is cold out here in New Hampshire. I mean, there's snow on the ground. That's a definite sign that it's that it's cold. That's cold and not fresh. Welcome to part two of the how many rooms are there at Nerd video. If you missed part one, I highly recommend you go back so that you can get the full scope of everything that's going on here and, and not miss out. Whew. Okay, I'm gonna keep this quick because I wanted to wear the same shirt that I'm wearing inside the nice warm nerd facility. That little monitor's distracting me. All right, let's hit it, part two. Just breathe, Dave. <laughs> Hold on. He's so pissed. Room number seven. I can't believe we're actually keeping up with the uh, the numbers. So room seven is mostly ball pythons. It's basically 90% ball pythons. These are baby ball pythons. First year breeder females and raise ups. Um, and that whole rack is uh, the micro scale project. Coolest thing in this room, for me anyway, I already like ball pythons, but this is one of our micro scale creations that uh, has just kind of blown me away. This is like a Coral Glow, Mojave, Hidden Gene, Woma, Pastel, <laughs> it's a bunch of other genes, and micro scale. Now, Microscale obviously is a, a different line of, of scale as head, essentially. Essentially, yes. Um, there are some, some differences. Uh, the overall feel of the animal is, is different. It feels beaded. And if you really pay attention and look, it's hard on an animal like this, but if you really pay attention and look to the scalation, you see it's actually quite imperfect. But uh, you don't see that quite as intense on the uh, on the scaleless head stuff. And then typically these guys will more consistently have a higher expression of missing scales on the head and smaller to no heat pits. All right, so this is a Coral Glow GHI micro, but you can really see those the imperfections where the scales just basically don't line up. And that's one of the things that gives it that different feel. That's seven rooms, seven rooms, mm -hmm. uh, including the room that shall not be named. That's right. How many more rooms are there, sir? Why not a croc monitor? Why not? They definitely don't make happy. Roommate. 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 We're doing it. Roommate. Roommate. Yeah. Roommate. Is that? No, no, it's bromate. And then a, a rack hanging on the wall. Cause why not? Yep. Uh, Baby colubrids. <laughs> ah, where we are in room eight. All right. So room eight always has stuff going on. Hence the tables and trash cans and all that stuff. Um, mostly because this is one of our monitor rooms. Um, so this is usually single females or single females that are paired with a male on this side and then single females that are either raising up for breeding or uh, are currently gravid and they're in their own space to lay their eggs. There was a YouTube channel that I used to watch mm -hmm. that featured a lot of this uh, monitor. It, it, nerd? 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 No, yeah, I, 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 I heard, I've heard of them, but the uh, I don't like the guy's ponytail. But on that show, he's very sinewy. What's up, bud? There, there might be girls somewhere in there, maybe up top. I'm Just afraid of girls. Yep. Brian? Yes. What do you think of that black? Uh, I think monitor? it's amazing. Yeah? Yes. Good contribution. Thank you. Oh, well, I mean, I'm wondering if he would like to come out and play with us. I suppose we'll just let him decide that. Yeah, yeah. So I don't, I don't know this animal at all, but there's something to be said for just kind of the way you approach an animal, I think. Like, if you come with a little bit of confidence and, and respect, I like to think, you know, not that it isn't an animal and can not tell you exactly what it's thinking, that if you approach it that way, maybe it can pick up the pheromones you're putting off or, or something. You know, if you, if you come in and you're just like, have all this fear, it's a ch there's a high likelihood that the animal's gonna respond in kind. Whereas if you come in with a little bit of confidence and and just comfortability, then you're not gonna freak the animal out as much. I mean, their sense of smell is 600 times better than our own, so they can smell some things we can't.
I first started watching the Nerd Channel, the monitor stuff that Kevin did with these animals was just the socialization was something that really stood out to me about about the way Nerd was doing things. And definitely had to spend some time here with, with one of the coolest monitors in the place. Su super happy that he came out to say hi. <laughs> what was that, bud? <laughs> Ready for the next room? Room nine. Room nine. <clears throat> Along the way is a rack of boas. Hi, rack of boas. <laughs> All right, so. Is this always gonna happen? You ready for this? You ready Who for this, is this guy? Who hey, wait, this here. guy in the building? Hang on. All right, you ready? All right. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. wait. no, I'm not ready. ready. I'm not ready, right, I'm not ready. ready. I'm not ready, let me get ready. Like, okay. exercise or however okay. you, you know. <laughs> I'm okay. So in this room, we've got uh, breeder male ball pythons over here. We've got more raise up. These are like yearling raise up ball pythons. Um, random. Boa constrictors. Let's see, we've got mangrove snakes in here. I see a mangrove. How's it feel to want? <laughs> How's it feel to get? <laughs> Open the fucking. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are one of my favorite. Uh, no, they are my favorite boega. It's hard not to love these you guys. You know, right? I'm just gonna go ahead and say that that can qu qualify as like coolest snake in the room. I would say so. Yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll qualify that as coolest animal in room number nine. And, uh, Thanks, Dave. You know, I don't want to brag or anything, yeah. but uh, I have seen many of these in the wild. All right, we're going into room number ten. ten. Room this ten. Is this is the room. Okay, this is the room that was always a mystery. I was like, where is that? Yep. So this is where we usually have like birthday parties and and stuff like that happen. It uh, during the winter months is our tortoise haven. Um, we also have our. Uh, rhino iguanas in here temporarily as their cage has been uh, utilized by a monitor lizard. So we've got some rhino iguanas in here. We also have Lucille, the American alligator, who uh, is not super friendly, but can also get out of this, which is another reason why the rhino iguanas are there. And then the piece de resistance in the room is the queen herself. This is the coolest animal in the room, Lilith, who is healing well. Oh yeah, her eyes looking like nice. Yeah, she just uh, she just ate. Does, does this girl not come out of the enclosure without Tim and Kevin in the room? Basically. Yeah. So our so we're the only place in the state of New Hampshire that has a permit for venomous reptiles, and it's conditional. Um, but the biggest thing is nobody who's uh, not on the permit can mess with the venomous stuff. So the only people on the permit are Kevin and Timmy. Room number eleven. All right. So in this room, get the fuck out of here. All, uh, he irritated him. <laughs> You irritated him. <laughs> this was supposed to be a this collab. This is Brian's day. Not a, not a competition. <laughs> it's a competition, right, brother? Everything's a competition, right? right? Everything's a competition. All right, let's arm it's a competition. Right, All right. Let's do it. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, oh come on. Start. You gotta try. I'll He's not trying. Both. I don't know, Dan. Uh, I just work here. That's <laughs> 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 my video. I'm gonna talk first. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so in this room, we have all the This is room 11 where we've got ball pythons. Now, we've got a lot of ball pythons here in New England Reptile, but there's so many ball pythons, I don't think you understand. There's 360 ball pythons in this room. Just in case you didn't know, New England Reptiles has a lot of ball pythons. So we've got a lot of ball pythons here. I'm going to show you a really cool ball python. Look at this. It's a really cool ball python. This is a ball python. Bet you didn't know it was a ball python. Guess what? Here, right here, another Ball python, that's right. We've got ball pythons here in New England Reptile. There's so many ball pythons. We've got a lot of ball pythons. I feel like I'm talking about a lot of ball pythons, Brian. Am I talking a lot about, a lot about ball, ball pythons? Well, what I was hoping to hear about in this room was ball pythons. So if you could show me a ball python, then that's what I was hoping to see. Okay, so I can show you a lot of ball pythons. Okay, so what we've got right here, okay, so this is a really cool ball python. So this is actually, oh, this is in shed. You don't want to see that. Okay, uh, that's a normal. You don't want to see that either. Okay, so here's what we've got. Okay, so this is actually really cool. Doesn't look like much, especially being around ball pythons for a really long time. This is actually a lemon blast ball python. But because lemon blasts are kind of like, meh, you know, been around for a while, especially if you know what you're doing. This is actually Hetford Desert Ghost. So that means there's a lot of cool ball pythons we're going to have here. These are ball pythons. You happy about ball pythons? Brian's happy about ball pythons. Just because Brian likes ball pythons. Ball python! <laughs> okay. Room number Room 12. 12. This is it. This is it. This is it. We're done, done after this. After this, you're getting the hell out of here. I won't interrupt any longer. You just film what you need to come and film. I will film what I come to film. I will not step on your toes any longer. You All right, so what's in this room? <laughs> okay, so this is another monitor room. <laughs> Brian, you should be filming right now. I'm trying to give I'm you not. content. No, I'm not filming. <laughs> I, don't, I don't film. That's not what I do. 
I don't film. I just oh, you point, don't film? I just point my camera in certain directions. Oh. oh Especially well. when we get directions. Sorry, no, we don't actually do that. Good, good job, that rhymed. Good job. I know how to rhyme all the time. Oh. Like it's a crime. Oh. They'd lock me up. Bars. Behind bars. Exactly. <laughs> so we've got some leopard geckos. Uh-huh. And these are our, because uh, we're all about enrichment. Right. So we give these very, very small geckos very, very large enclosures for enrichment because Kevin is all about enriching the lives of, of leopard geckos. <clears throat> I enrich my monitors with my employees. Every day an employee interacts with the monitor as a play toy. I mean, you can have a bouncy ball with a bell in it or you can have dusted. You can have uh, a cute crinkle ball or you can have Spencer. You could have a wood block or you could have Jacob. All right, so there's three cameras recording right now. Leave, <laughs> leave, so, leave a comment down below and let me know which channel you watched the video on first. Just curious. Just leave a comment down below. Let us know who you watched first. Did you watch it on Jeremy's channel? Dave's channel? Brian's channel? Or Kevin's channel? Which one? And as it was, as what it is, as what it were. Thank you for watching part two of our nerd video. That was a lot of fun. I'd like to give a special shout out to Mr. Jeremy Turgeon from Brassman Reptiles for being such a freaking fantastic host out there and making our experience that much more fun. Of course, Kevin for having us. Rob is creeping it real for showing up. And then, of course, the entire nerd crew for putting up with us and our shenanigans coming in their facility. And uh, yeah, good times, great people, good oldies. Of course, uh, all the other people that were in the videos, my buddy Bradley, Risha Reptiles, Dave Kaufman, Wrapped Around Reptiles, links for everybody down below because really cool content coming out from everybody that's involved here. And thank you guys again. Uh, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and we will see you um, on Wednesday for Cusco Uncut. And hopefully uh, we'll have the results from our indigo snake at that point. All right. You guys take care of yourselves. See you later. Bye.